Beating the Falcons in Week 10, well, that was the easy part. Darren Rezzi said the biggest challenge for the Saints this week will be sustaining that energy. I'm Mike Triplett, and this is The Dot presented by Matt Bowers Auto Group. Look, I think the biggest benefit for the Saints to try to carry on everything, the momentum, the adrenaline that carried them through last week with the coaching change and all the different tweaks they made around here at the practice facility is that they won. And there is nothing that pushes you forward and keeps that adrenaline going more than winning and dancing in the locker room and seeing that everything you did last week paid off. So that's what players have been talking about here Monday. All the getting back to the fundamentals, all the focus on the details, all the we had a great week of practice and we actually won the game Wednesday through Saturday. That message hits home after a win. It hits home less and less after seven straight losses. As Derek Carr said, it felt like they constantly had that belief that there was a good in time, good team inside. They just kept feeling like they were getting punched in the face when they didn't win. But I think that's going to be week to week for this team. Uh, the good news is they are back home this week. They're facing a Cleveland team that is also struggling. And if they can come into practice with the same level of energy, the same attention to detail, maybe they can turn this into a win streak instead.